Okay, this is wicked exciting. My uh, my tires came. Uh, these somebody pointed out that these are Harley Davidson motorcycle tires that are on here, and they're exactly right. And I wanted uh, I wanted the tires to be a good bit taller, and they are. This is going to get the front end of the car up a little bit, which I need because right now the car is so close to the ground that the steering box would drag if I went over much of a bump. Uh, I also got my wire wheels painted, and I got my adapters. And uh, over here I've got my uh, my disc brake setup, which I'm going to be installing today. So that's, that's really good progress. I mean, uh, when I get those disc brakes on there and get these wheels on there and get these things mounted, I'm going to mount these uh, tires by hand. Uh, holy cow, that's going to start to look just great. So that's what I'm up to today. I thought I'd shoot that, especially since I sold mom's furniture to get these tires. I felt like I ought to let everybody at least see the tires. Thanks. Have a nice day. Alright, let's talk a little bit about what I'm about to do. These are the uh, wheels that are on the rat rod right now. And, you know, to be honest with you, they are very cool. These are like 39 Ford hydraulic brake wheels with that old style, uh, I think they call that, uh, what do they call those wheels? They had a particular name for them, which slips my mind at the moment. But these were the first of the juice brake uh, hubs. And, uh, you know, they've got some value of their own. However, they are shoe brakes. And, you know, here's the bottom line. I learned how to drive on a car with shoe brakes. And I spent a good part of my life driving around on cars with shoe brakes. And the thing about shoe brakes is it's awful hard to get them adjusted exactly right so they don't pull one way or the other. And with this car being what it is, you know, it's got this old... Uh, 57 Ford steering column. It's already got a boatload of play in it. That's all I need is for the brakes to be zigging and zagging me around every which way every time I try to stop. So for that reason, I've elected to go with the disc brakes. It's just the older I get, the more I care about my own safety. So these are coming off. The disc brakes are going on. That's going to be the project for today. I will save these. They might be uh, good for some other application down the road, or somebody else might like to have them more than me. Who knows? But uh, but they're they're going. So anyway, I just thought I'd show that and explain why I'm doing it. Because sure as well, there'll be people out there saying, "Oh, you should have kept them brakes." And you know what? If they want them, I'll sell them to them. <laughs> okay, here's a pretty good opportunity to take a look at what we had, as opposed to what we're going to have. These old shoe brakes have nothing on them. They're completely gone. These old cylinders are uh, all dried out to the point where the rubber is just falling out of them. This can all be fixed. Uh, it's kind of like a friend of mine said, all it takes is time and money. I guess I figure for my time and money, the disc brakes just such a much better setup that I'm going to take this off. There's four bolts that are going to hold this on. I'm going to pop them four bolts off. And then that'll be the start of where we'll begin to put the disc brakes back on. It's going to be a good project.